Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. I'd like you to put your attention on this 22 inch piece of half inch EMT conduit. I have two questions for you, which we'll discuss and I'll show you the codes. The first question is, what is the maximum conduit fill allowed for this half inch EMT conduit? The second question is, does it need a strap? Does it need to be strapped to the wall? Let's answer the first question first. This is chapter nine tables from the 2020 NEC code. And table one talks about percent of cross section of conduit and tubing for conductors and cables. And we'll go to the notes to tables. Here at notes to tables, number four, it says where conduit or tubing nipples having a maximum length not to exceed 600 millimeters, that's 24 inches, are installed between boxes, cabinets, and similar enclosures, the nipples shall be permitted to be filled to 60% of their total cross-sectional area. And 310.15C1 adjustment factors need not apply to this condition. So let's say you were being tested on this and there was seven 14 gauge wires, seven 12 gauge wires, and one 12 gauge EGC in the form of a green ground wire, all in this one conduit. Do you think that would be a code violation? Well, let's check it out. Once again, we'll go to notes to tables, but this time to number three, equipment grounding or bonding conductors where installed shall be included when calculating conduit or tubing fill. The actual dimensions of the equipment grounding or bonding conductor insulated or bare shall be used in the calculation. So that means that we have seven 14 gauge wires and eight 12 gauge wires. Let's check it out. So here we are at conduitfillcalculator.com. I actually have this as an app on my cell phone. So we have EMT, we've selected EMT, half inch. And here's the type of wire, THHN for both the 14 gauge and the 12 gauge. I've selected 14 gauge and 12 gauge. So we got seven 14 gauge THHN and we have eight 12 gauge THHN. So we have this all filled out. EMT half inch, uh, seven 14 gauge, eight 12 gauge, and you hit calculate. And there it is, 57.37% fill so because it's less than 24 inches that is what we call a nipple the EMT nipple is less than 24 inches we can fill it up to 60 percent and it comes out at 57.37 percent of course I don't recommend stuffing a little EMT like that with so many wires but I want you to be aware of the code now let's check out and see if this piece of conduit needs a strap. Let's see if it needs to be strapped to that wall. Here's a graphic depiction of the code showing that a strap needs to be installed within three feet of raceway termination. Since our EMT is only 22 inches long, it does not need a strap. Let me know how you did in the comments section below. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.